What's up guys, it's Jake here and this is my second squad builder in FIFA 17. If you haven't checked out the first squad builder, I will leave a link in the description or leave a card in this video. So don't forget to check that video as well, it was a decent squad builder. So if you like this squad builder guys, drop a like and subscribe for more squad builder and other contents coming on my channel. So the person who uses this squad, labeled this squad as the most underused Bundesliga team, uh, team. so that's going to be the title of this video as well. So in goalkeeper position, we got Leno, a solid goalkeeper. Most people with the box prefer Manu Neuer in his position, but he's a cheap uh, an alternative for Neuer. And in the right back spot, we got Piszczek, second best right back in the league. And on the left hand side, we got Kolasinac, who has been recently confirmed as a free transfer for Arsenal in the next summer. So it's a very good player and he's got a decent card enough, you know. He, he will be a great centre back with on 7 cam. If you put him there, especially given his work rates. Moving into centre backs, we got Socrates, one of the solid like uh, centre backs uh, to use in the Bundesliga. And next to him, we got Toprak, uh, the SPG version of him. And many people don't use Toprak uh, because of his lack of physical and lack of like uh, dribbling and stuff on a centre back. But uh, this guy decided to use it, so I put this SPG version of Toprak in the team. So on the left hand side in the midfield. We have got Renato Sanchez, one of the overpowered players in the Bundesliga this year. And on the right hand side, we got Salomon Kulus in form. His in form looks, looks really tasty, guys. He's got some couple of good stats for being a decent center mid as well. So, holding the midfield line, we got Luis Gustavo, uh, the center defensive mid spot. Nothing fancy about his card. We got his Momba version to give him a bit of a physical boost on the field. And moving into the attackers, on the right hand side, we got on to watch Mbolo. And on the left hand side, we got uh, Hakan Chalanoglu from Bayer Leverkusen, second in form, I believe, and he's got some good shooting, dribbling, and passing for a player. Not the ideal position for, for him to play at left forward, but it's going to be a decent experiment in experimenting him on the unknown position. So, leading the line up front, we got uh, Hernandez, known as Chicharito, is second in form as well. A very decent looking uh, striker card for him. People like people used to like Lewandowski or Aubameyang at striker. Javier Hernandez is clearly the second or third choice, and we are using him because it's the underused Bundesliga team in FIFA 17. So getting into the highlights, it's time for me to unlight this squad, guys. So this squad really showed some character. It really uh, displays some strength. It clearly gives you the performance you need. And I did not expect great things from this squad builder and I just played 4 games, I got enough clips and goals. So it, it, it's clearly the out of box thinking and it's a very good squad builder and uh, I did win uh, I did win all games apart from one which I did come up against an incredible player and I lost 4-1 I believe. So uh, a couple of games I, it, the squad really showed character to win the game and it's an untiring squad. Whenever you put on a counter attack the squad uh, delivers. The stamina levels of the players does not drop whatsoever and the defense looks mostly fine especially the full backs. Uh, the center backs are always going to concede goals because uh, uh, no matter what center back you put in you're guaranteed to concede goals against a very good opponent. So. Now moving into the full backs, they were really fine. Pisek is one of the most uh, underrated player in my opinion in the ultimate team basis and he's such a good player to have. He's so good and you can't complain with having Pisek in the team. So moving into Kolasinac, he, he was a decent player. I did not notice him but he was there when I needed him. His work rates are perfect for the defensive minded things and he was a solid player. I did not even notice a single mistake and the same goes for Luis Gustavo as well. And the only thing I did not like about Gustavo is his lack of pace. When your opponent is playing like uh, through balls uh, to a striker who is really uh, quick and dribbling, you, uh, Luis Gustavo like kind of bit lacks in that aspect. He's not quick off his feet and he, he feels a bit clunky in my opinion on the field. And Renato Sanchez, you know, is overpowered for his rating and that's why he's in most of the Bundesliga squads this year and he deserves that. He is a fantastic player to have in your ultimate team. And moving into Salomon Kalou, what I felt is like he was being wasted at CM. The ideal position for Kalou is a center attacking mid. He's got good stats, he's got decent pace, decent shooting, decent dribbling and everything. I think Cam is a great spot for uh, to play Salomon Kalou. 
And moving into the top 3, let's start with Hakan. Hakan is a very good player and is not especially suited for the wing play but I made some specific instructions for him to cut inside and when he is on the edge of the uh, bo your opposition box, he's got two great opportunities. His finish orders are OP and he can uh, he can give you a long shot as well so you could really like go for far post and near post when he, he cuts in behind and from the flank so he's a very good player and he's an exceptional free kick taker as well so moving into uh, Chicharito, Chicharito is fine and the one thing uh, that, that he really lacks is the aerial presence in your opposition box he can get you a bit of headers on him the pace and dribbling on him are so good he can get in behind in a blink so moving into the final play, Mbolo, like he was a star of this squad builder. Every attacking threat I make comes from Mbolo, whether he's running on on the wide or cutting in behind, having a shot, like he's a, he's a gem of a player to use. And so that's going to be the end of this squad builder guys. If you enjoyed it, drop a like and subscribe for more content and I'll catch you in another video soon.